It's being called a variant of interest by the World Health Organization. EG5 is another Omicron offshoot and behind about 17% of new COVID-19 cases in the U.S. So for now, it seems that it may have increased transmissibility, but it does not seem to be posing more of a threat to public health than other variants. So far, EG5 has been detected in 51 countries, its global presence doubling over the last month, with China having the largest portion, about a third of reported cases, followed by the U.S., South Korea, Japan, Canada, Australia, Singapore, and the UK at 2%. EG5 was upgraded from a variant under monitoring because global health officials believe it should be tracked and further studied, says Dr. Adi Shaw with Mayo Clinic. So that we can keep an eye on the data and make further determination as to if this is more risky or leading to more hospitalization. Right now, the U.S. is seeing a rise in COVID-19 cases, emergency room visits, and hospitalizations. But it's unclear if this specific strain is driving those increases. Health experts believe the record heat driving people indoors and summer travel may be helping to drive the uptick. An updated COVID booster is expected by fall. It's because the booster is targeted against XBB, and which is the strain of the Omicron family that EG5 is related to or comes from. So potentially it should protect against EG5 as well. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither.